In this video, we do a purple purity seal. Here is our purity seal. So the colors we're going to use to paint the parchment, I'm going to use this uh, kind of tannish or whatever that is. Uh, Off-white, warm off-white, and then uh, just plain old white. Then I'm going to do the writing with this micro micron pen, and then I'm going to hit it with a sepia shade. And then while I'm doing that, the purity seal, we're going to go for purple because that is part of the uh, triadic, secondary triadic, and I'm doing some glowy purple eyes with, uh, so it'll look out well with a black wash, and then this is going to be the highlight color. I only needed to do one coat on the, uh, pretty much everything on this one actually. So that was kind of nice. All right, first highlight with the warm off white, I'm hitting the uh, raised ridges and edges and a little bit on the uppermost portions. I'm doing all the highlighting first because I'm going to do the writing over the top and I don't want the writing to be painted over. And then I'm going to use the shade to tie all the colors together. All right, we're gonna do pure white and we're just gonna hit the very tips of the raised area where it meets kind of the side. And then we'll do some of the corners and a little bit of the edge on the very highest point. All right, time for the Micron pen. I've been using this to simulate writing and I've been enjoying it because it's kind of quick. And I'm just kind of doing some dots and lines um, just to kind of make it look like there's writing on here and doing a little bit on the side. And uh, this, it takes a while to dry and it dries pretty glossy so it can be hard to tell if it is dry. So I would just give it a good amount of time um, so that the ink doesn't mix in with the sepia shade when you do it and get all kind of smudgy. I think that would be bad. And now for the shades after I let that dry. So we're doing the sepia shade on the parchment to tie all the colors together darken it up and then I'm going to do non oil and I'm just going to dab it in the center of the wax so that the um, skull pops out a little bit more and after all that dries I'm going to highlight the purple and we're all done with the purity seal All right, there we go. Nice and easy. I enjoy Purity Seals a lot. I think it's a neat little detail, a neat little lore piece. Again, I chose purple because it's going to match up with the uh, OSL effect up on the head. And I want to use those similar colors across. And I have a plan for doing a little bit of a secondary triadic thing here. Um, and we're going to do some orange, but it's going to be in the backpack. I think it's going to turn out pretty cool, but we'll do that later. Have a good one.